Welcome to Medscape Morning Report. The prevalence of kidney stones in the general population has risen by 70% over the last 30 years. In a recent UK study involving about 26,000 patients with kidney stones, researchers found a link between nephrolithiasis risk and five common types of antibiotics. Those were sulfas, cephalosporins, fluoroquinolones, nitrofurotoin, and broad-spectrum penicillins. The added risk was highest for the sulfa drugs. Most kidney stones developed within a year after the antibiotics were taken, but the risk remained elevated for several years. And although all ages were affected, the danger was highest among teens and children. The reasons why oral antibiotics promote the development of kidney stones aren't clear. It might be changes to the microbiome or macronutrient metabolism. But it's another reminder that antibiotics aren't risk-free. And for patients already at risk for nephrolithiasis, it would be prudent to avoid these antibiotics when possible.